Bridgetown has three public bus stations and a great bus service. And it's even a safe place to walk around at night. This is the bus station near the cruise ship. And if you want to go to Mullins or Spate Town, this is the one you need to come to. But walk past the bus station, eventually you'll come to the boardwalk. If you like a rum punch and a snorkel, this is the boat for you. They do pleasure trips and guarantee a good time. There's even a bar called the Jolly Roger Tavern. Time for a stop, I think. Or you could march on to the bridge house, because that's where everybody flocks to, those carrying their towels. The beaches are behind the bridge house. Often listed as being in Bridgetown, George Washington's house is just outside, actually at the race course. It's on the way down to Rockley Beach. Barbados does have some major departmental stores and promises more to come. But we thought it'd be interesting to go down the back street and have a look at the market. Massive diamonds. I'm walking along outside the Museum of Barbados. This is right next to the beautiful St. Michael's Church and opposite Hero Square. And on the other side of Hero Square is the bridge in Bridgetown, which is by the harbour and a good place to head for if you're looking for the bus station. This is Hero Square. The next bridge along is right by the Burger King. And if you look for that, you can find the bus terminal. Behind me is the main bus terminal. And then behind that, down by the river is the small bus terminal where you can get the small buses that just cost you two Barbadian dollars. This is one of the main bus garages in Bridgetown. You've got the regular yellow buses, but you've also got the white shared taxis that you jump in and out and you pay two dollars and you can go anywhere on the island. Buses all have the destinations on the front of the bus, so it's very easy to find the right bus for where you want to go. It's organised chaos, but it is very organised, and you really don't need any other form of transport. Just leaving the Square of Independence. Barbados has been independent since 1966, and there's a plot of the Right Honourable Errol Walton Barrow. Barbados is normally a quick look round and then off to the beach. If you want to take a bus south, you'll pass the race course with George Washington's house, but he only stayed there for a week whilst on holiday. Hastings Beach is the one normally used by the cruise ships and art splashes over the road, that's good fun, or go down further to Rockley Beach. You can rent two beds and a parasol for 30 US dollars, 60 Bayesian, and in return for that, they give you some Monopoly money, which you can spend on your lunch. It's brilliant. If you have a Friday night in Barbados, you have to go to Oystins. See our special film on Fish Night Friday night at Oystins. <laughs>